clean it yourself. Okay, so I've been a fan of remote control vehicles my entire life, from some of the early Radio Shack RC cars, the ones I could afford back then, um, all the way up to the hobby grade stuff uh, in the present day. And I've always been fascinated by the idea of LEGO RC. And LEGO's made a few attempts at this over the years. Early on, they had RC sets that actually used an RF signal to control the vehicles. Uh, later on, we got the power function system with its IR communication. And then nowadays, everything is Bluetooth. Everything. But before we get too deep into things, let's hear a word from our sponsor. My wallet. Crap. Bluetooth has a lot of issues. Um, I don't understand why in the year 2022, everything is moving to this protocol, which is slow and it's just garbage for most things. Even my Bluetooth speaker, if I'm listening to an audiobook and there's a pause in the audio, I guess it shuts down the communication and then starts back up again to save battery because it just cuts out and it'll cut out the next few words, the next sentence. And it's just unlistenable. And in the car, it's laggy. And with RC vehicles, it's laggy. And it's right there in the name, remote control. You need to have control over what you're doing. That's part of the fun. That's, you need responsiveness. If you've ever actually driven an RC car that uses a radio frequency, the response is instant. And anything I've tried with Lego, with the blue, using Bluetooth, just doesn't feel right to me. That's part of the fun, is the feel, the feeling of control. I've tried a half dozen solutions uh, using the touch controls on the phone, which I don't like. It Again, it's all about feeling. There's no feedback, you know, physical feedback, like there is when using a physical controller. This is probably the way to eliminate lag the most, is using directly from a phone to a BooWiz unit or a powered up hub. But again, it's just not a solution that works for me. I'm using my phone to record things, and I, I, my phone is literally the only thing I own that has Bluetooth LE that it's able to make the, to communicate with power functions or anything that uses Bluetooth. So that's kind of where I'm stuck. And I've tried Brick Controller, which is a, a great program. You can use a PS4 controller to directly control your creations. And it even has built-in functionality with the Robot Inventor set, and I've also tried that too. And I'm gonna show you know a lot of clips through this and I'm gonna do some testing towards the end of the video and try to count the frames and see how I can do to actually compare the lag between these different systems. Now look, I know no Lego RC car is gonna be doing 60 miles an hour like some of the hobby grade stuff. Well, well, I won't, I won't say that. I'm sure somebody's done it by now. <laughs> but again, it all comes back to feeling. Um, the power function system works pretty well with this IR communication. The only problem there is range, line of sight, um, and interference. If you're using fluorescent lighting, that can cause issues, or direct sunlight can cause issues. I actually ran into this when I was doing my code pilot video. Um, I went out to a you know a fountain and was driving along, and there were times that it would the communication would kind of hang, and it and the motor would be stuck on, and weird things like that, or it just wouldn't respond. But again, it is responsive. Unfortunately, with the power function system, there's no proportional control. There was never a remote that would actually do this. You could use a train controller, you know, with the little clicky uh, wheel that it had, and that could control a power functions servo motor. Um, this does not work with most, at least all the ones I've tried, the third party servo replacements. But it still just doesn't work. I guess if you modify the controller, take the clicking out, and maybe try to rig something up, you, you might could do something. But proportional control is a, is a big thing. Um, having that type, kind of control on the throttle and on your steering, or even other functions of the model, that's important. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just making this video. I can't be the only one that feels this way. I would love for a company like Buiz. I like what they do, I really do. Um, I don't know if there's any roadblocks to using RF. I imagine Bluetooth is pretty cheap to implement nowadays. Um, with RF, you might have to cut through some, some red tape and, and you know, there's, I know there's laws that kind of govern uh, radio frequency stuff. Maybe that has something to do with it. But that's what I'd like to see. 
we've had this technology for many, many decades, far longer than I've been alive. And it's the best thing I can think of to have immediate control over your creations. And again, I would like it to be a company like Buiz. Um, I think Mold King or some of those other third party companies maybe have some kind of RF uh, or some type of wireless uh, control. But I'd rather it be a company that doesn't directly rip off Lego stuff. Um, you know, I don't know one, some of these companies from the other, whether it be Blue Bricks or, or Mold King or, the, or some of the others, you know. But I'd rather be a company that, that does things on their own terms, even if it is a bit more expensive. So that's where I'm at. I've heard there's a like a Bluetooth receiver that you can plug directly into the Robot Inventor. Um, I remember seeing that on a, a YouTube video recently, and I'll link that. I'll link all the stuff in the description below. So maybe that's an option. I don't know how the lag compares to other solutions, because that's the entire problem. When you're using Brick Controller, your phone is the intermediary between the device you're controlling and the controller. And it's the same thing if you're using the Robot Inventor set. It's using your phone or a PC as an intermediary. So maybe I'm making a big deal out of nothing. I, I don't see many other people complaining about this, but it's a huge, huge deal to me. Um, you know, if I'm playing maybe an emulated uh, old game, a Super Nintendo game, I don't want touch controls on a phone, and I don't want lag between me pressing the button and seeing something happen on the screen. Even just a little bit. I mean, I know you can get used to it, but it's 2022. I'm not gonna say that that's the best we can do if there's 30, 40, 50 milliseconds of lag or more. We can do better, and I hope somebody will. Okay, so this is the part of the video where I tell you I have scaled things back a little bit. <laughs> I was going to do actual comparisons of the lag um, between Buiz and a uh, brick controller app and the controller, um, all those kind of things, but it's just going to be a little bit much for me. Um, the camera I'm filming on now is a DSLR, an old Canon one. It's 30 frames per second. It's not going to be the most accurate thing to count frames and see, try to calculate lag times from that. Um, and again, I can't use my phone because I have to use my phone for all the uh, <laughs> Bluetooth crap. <laughs> so if somebody else wants to do that, uh, there's a free idea for a video. Um, I do have, I did recently get the Buiz, uh, Buiz, people say it differently, uh, 3.0 set uh, with two of the buggy motors. Um, so we'll be playing with that a little bit, but again, it seems to suffer from the same issues I have with everything else, with the powered up system, with the robot inventor stuff. Um, it just doesn't feel right to me, um, especially with, with, with Buiz, because it's going to be that much faster, because um, that's the whole point of it, is to get more power out of your LEGO models. And if you, you know me, I like more power. So throughout the video, I've tried to sprinkle in some, some clips at least. Um, that do show the amount of lag that I'm talking about. Like the, the Robot Inventor, that's just inexcusable. It's like a half a second lag between hitting the trigger on the, on the controller and it moving uh, the vehicle. And that's even worse with something that has traditional, not rack and pinion steering, but you know, that type of steering uh, versus like maybe tank controls wouldn't be quite as bad. So I'm going to, you know, over time, I'll try some different things and see if I can kind of mitigate some of these issues or what I can do to make them better. You know, maybe at the end of the day, I'm getting what I pay for. I bought a, a somewhat budget phone, uh, a Pixel 4a, um, but that's about as much as I'm going to spend on a phone. I'm not going to go out and buy a $1,000 iPhone. Um, <laughs> I'm just not one for throwing my money out the window like that. So yeah, I guess by the end of it, this video just turned into a long rant. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, I've tried to sprinkle some entertainment in there, here and there. And as for my RC vehicles, I may try to do a video on my personal YouTube channel. I don't upload there much, but um, maybe an overview of the vehicles I do have. And pretty much every single one of them is modified in some way. Um, so that could be interesting. The problem I have with RC stuff, and I'll have with LEGO RC stuff, I don't have anyone to film for me or to help me film. Um, my younger brother's helped me here and there uh, throughout the years, but he's a busy guy. He's self-employed, and, uh, you know, <laughs> I can only expect so much of him. Um, we're about to roll the outro of the video. He actually helped me do that. We spent several hours filming that, um, so I'm very grateful for that. So if I do end up making that video, I will post a link to it in the description somewhere. I think there's going to be a lot in the description. <laughs> 
So thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for watching. Um, again, share your thoughts in the comments, what you think, what, what solutions you found or anything like that. And if you do want to stay after the outro, I've got a couple bloopers and goofy little things that I wanted to tack on at the end of the video. <laughs> it's not something I always do, but uh, something to look for every once in a while. And we'll see you in the next one. Remember to play well. third train to go by in like three hours. <sighs> they should have just went on strike. Oh my god, my gut so much. <laughs> <laughs> what you stirring up my gut for? <laughs> <laughs>